Okay, we're going to start with our nice render that we did in part one of the dance studio. And we've got daylight flooding through the windows, and now we want to add some lights. I'm going to show you how simple it is to add some really cool lighting effects to your SketchUp models. We're going to start off by opening up the Components dialog, and then we're going to select IDX Rendition or Lights. And that's going to produce all the different lighting options that are available in Renditioner. And we're going to select one. When you select one, it's actually going to show you a brief description of what the actual light is. And then just for this uh, example, we're going to drag the ceiling light over into our model and place it on the ceiling. And then we're going to scroll down and uh, find a wall light and uh, we're going to drag that over into our model and add that to the wall. And then we're going to change the scene so we can see this uh, end wall. Now that we've got the lights pretty evenly spaced, we're going to go ahead and make copies of them and spread them out uh, across the ceiling so we get a pretty even effect. Now we're going to go back to the previous view and we're going to go ahead and render and see what this looks like. You'll notice on the floor that the sunlight coming through the windows is creating an awkward pattern there. So basically what that's telling us is that the lights might not be covering a wide enough area. So we want to adjust that a little bit. We do this by selecting one of the ceiling lights and right clicking on it. And then just off the screen in the context menu, you're normally going to see an IDX rendition or light attributes button. You're going to click on that and it opens up this window. In this dialog, you can change the cone angle on the spotlight that we used on the ceiling to make it cover a wider area. Or you can increase the number of lumens to make it brighter. And if we wanted to, we could even select a different type of bulb, each with its own brightness and color temperature settings. We can also set the color using the standard SketchUp color controls. Now let's open up the Renditioner Lighting dialog, and here we can select to have a mix of light types, or for this particular instance, we're going to select Artificial only. And now we're going to render it again and see what it looks like. You can see that those minor adjustments that we made to the lights actually cleaned up the strange shadows that we were seeing on the floor. Now let's turn the sun back on, but let's make sure that the natural light is brighter. This may give us a more realistic balance to the light flooding in next to the interior lights. Check it out at www.idx-design.com.